What's up, YouTube? Hope all you guys are doing good. Hope you guys have had some good hunting this weekend and had some luck finding some things. Um, I haven't had just a whole lot of amazing luck, but I did, however, you know, pick a few things up this weekend that I thought was pretty cool. Um, I think everything around here that got so stocked up and then so picked over that it's probably going to be kind of slow from now till. Uh, it would surprise me to right around. We might get some big case or something in right before Christmas. But, man, we got so much AK smoking on here right now that's picked over. It's going to be hard to get rid of all of it between now and then, anyhow. So, but anyhow, uh, got a, a couple of matchbox today. I'm going to be doing an open review on these cars. I think they're, they are awesome cars. One of them I have meant, to, I have come across it once. And I regretted not picking it up, and I've wanted it ever since. I didn't, and so this time I finally come across it again, and I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, they're moving parts cars, so, you know, you guys that watch, I open the moving parts cars and display them, you know, because they're really, really detailed. These moving parts cars are just crazy detailed cars. Um, got another old monster truck, chase truck here, a monster jam. I'm going to share it with you guys show you what to be on the lookout for if you y'all were thinking of picking any of the monster trucks up um you know just a couple cool little finds so we'll go ahead jump on in get started get my camera turned on here to see my square body we're gonna turn that one into something guys it's it's in the works right now actually but you know that's a, a different video there it'll be coming soon so just kind of be on the watch out for the square body because it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful truck. So let's go. First off, we'll jump in with the Monster Jam Chase truck. This truck right here is uh, it's the son of a grave digger. Um, it's got the. It is a true metal. If you look right here, guys, you see that it says heavy metal. If you see the true heavy metal, that's a chase right there. Um, this is got the metal chassis, the metal body, you know, everything on this truck is metal, you know, except for just a little bit of this blue right here. But all that gray under there, if you can see all that, the engine, all that's metal. It's a cool looking truck. I got the truck, I kind of collect these. Uh, they just look great. I mean, these trucks are just awesome looking. They're fun to look at. I usually try to grab two of the ones that I get because I would like to open them and I just play some and some I keep in a bin. So yeah, I try to grab them when I see the chases. Um, some, not even the chases, some of the regular trucks are just, they're just pretty. You know, I'm from the younger generation when the monster trucks was just getting big. So I like to look at them, so I, I do grab them. Uh, mm -hmm. So I got out last night and hunting some dollar trees, you know, and there was a couple of them that had got a few things. Um, so I come up on a pea case. A pea case is something here that I've only seen just a very, very few cars from, you know, all year from pea case. So there really wasn't many that, you know, that I had from it, but there wasn't a whole lot that I wanted, you know. So, so I think I will, Grab the Chevelle. I think I'm gonna do a custom on one of these. I grabbed a couple. I've got one other one, but but these are gonna be pretty pretty cars to do customs on right here. So that's why I went ahead and you know grabbed a couple extras while I seen them. Um, and so then I grabbed up this Moon Eyes here, the '47 Chevy Fleet Line. Um, I do collect some Moon Eyes stuff. I've got it quite a bit, and it just kind of fits in with some other collection. Um, so I just want to show you guys that. Uh, so then I finally come across the, the PK treasure hunt. Guys, I, this car has eluded me the whole the whole year this year. You know, I've managed to find every other one in the wild except for the L. I did trade and get an L from Tampa. Um, I actually have traded for one of these, and I've got one of these on the way. But it was still, it was nice to find it in the wild because I like to find, you know, as much as I can in the wild. I just, I'm a hunter. I like, I like to hunt. Um, but I did finally come across it and got to get it in the wild. So I'll have two of these now. 
But yeah, I was really glad to get a hold of this. Um, and then these were here are the Matchbox moving parts. We're gonna open these up today and check them out. And this is the Ford GT40. Um, and over there, if you guys wanna do some reading, you can screenshot it or whatever and read it. Um, it's a really pretty car. I, I collect GT40s, actually I've got a few GT40 cars. A lot of you guys have seen some of my GT40s, so. But let's jump on in here and let's open this bad boy up. I've been kind of waiting to see this car here out of the pack. Mm -hmm. First time I've seen this one, the other one I got, I've seen it, like I said, once before. But I've not come across this car here. Um, check that out, guys. Look, that's a pretty car right there. It's got the B number six and the white and blue looks good. You know, it's got pretty looking set of wheels and tires on there. You know, they're not real riders or anything like that, but they are. You know, they're a little bit fancy, so they're on the moving parts. As you can see, you raise this right here up. It's hard to see much up motor, but if you look, see that motor is really detailed a little bit there. See the, the block is orange. You can see the aluminum on the valve covers, and uh, it even looks like the top of the carburetor there is done up on it or something. You know, it's, it's got some detail on it. You know, it does have the, oops, sorry. Get back in the camera here. That's how work, our tail lights are detailed up, looks good. Has a good detail on the headlights. Yeah, these are matchbox, man. I'm telling you guys, you can't sleep on the matchbox, especially the moving parts. To me, they're the most detailed matchbox cars that you can get. So that's why I get them. So yeah, I was gonna share that with you guys. And this one right here, I come across this car once before. The 72 Volkswagen Beetle. 72 is the year I was born. Um, and actually today is my birthday. My wife got me a really pretty cake. I've done a, a short on the cake. If you guys want to go and check out what my birthday cake looked like today, you know, go to my page and look at it. I think you guys would really like the way it looks. It's really cool cake. So yeah, go check that cake out, guys. It's really nice. It was really, really great she picked it up for me. Um, it was pretty good. And so, so she hooked me up, guys. I'm going to get this dude out here and check it out. This is a Volkswagen funny car, and I actually collect the funny cars and the race cars. Um, look at that dude, man. That thing fl flops up right there on it, opens up good. See all that engine under there. You know, it's a really pretty little car. It says Hot V Dubber on the doors. Yeah, it's a cool little casting right there. Like I say, I have come across it once before. And I didn't get it, and I have hunted and hunted to try to get a hold of another one. Finally, finally got my hands on one. And it's got the VW there. Let um, me out what that says right there. Anyway, it's about too small for my eyes. The 121 VW, a hot VW. It's a, like a lavender color. It's a pretty cool car, guys. I like it. It's a really pretty cool color. Just a really neat. Neat little Volkswagen. Let's see what the stance is on it. Yeah, it's got a pretty good looking stance on it there too, so. Yeah, really pretty car, guys. All right, I'm gonna jump off here, go in here and watch a little TV with my wife and hang out for a while. I just wanted to show you guys what I had found. I wanted to open up these matchbox cars. Um, you know, and go over a few of the details. Man, that GT40 is fire, guys. The car is pretty. I sure like my GT40s. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Mr. Diecast Cloud, sir. Here's your package. Got it boxed up, ready to go to the post office tomorrow. We'll be in the mail tomorrow at lunch. It'll be on its way to you. You know what's inside. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hope all you guys stay safe. Hope you guys have good luck hunting. Get out there, stay on the hunt as much as possible. Um, st stuff's still coming in. If it hasn't already flooded your area, you guys are going to be getting stuff soon. Check out that's got red in here. That's a pretty cool car, guys. I like that. It's hard to see inside. It's, it's kind of dark in this room right here, actually. There, that, there it is. But anyhow, y'all stay safe. Happy hunting. Um, just take care of yourself, guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that watch. It uh, means a lot. You guys don't even know how much it means to me that all you guys 
that drop in here on a regular basis and watches my videos, how much it means to me. Great, great bunch of guys in this community. Um, thank y'all. Y'all be safe. Happy hunting.